and to move in the right direction for 2020. So please welcome Terry Demon and three great members. Thank you, Governor. Uh, the only, I only want to add two things to what everyone else has already said. First of all, in addition to continuing to be honored to advise you, Governor, as you know, I travel around the country and around the world speaking with other leaders about climate and energy policy, and they're all copying California. That's, that's the fact. As you mentioned, uh, President Obama doing the same and, and Congress doing the same. But one of the questions I get asked all the time is how do I get a hydrogen car? How do we build a hydrogen highway in our state or our country? As far away as Bahrain recently in the Middle East, uh, China, India, as well as many states in our own country. So what California is doing is not only demonstrating what, the, what is possible, but that this creates green jobs, uh, jobs that are very important and sustainable for our long-term economic recovery. The other thing I want to mention is just to compliment you on your incredible leadership and how what we've done with hydrogen is a great example for many of our other problems. Uh, when you authorized me, when I was Secretary of California's EPA in 2004, to create the Hydrogen Highway and the Hydrogen Highway Network, we put together 200 stakeholders from all walks of life, from the energy companies, the car companies, academics, government, private citizens. It took 200 of us to come up with the plan to break this chicken or the egg problem. No one will build fueling stations if there's no vehicles. No one will build vehicles if there's no fueling stations. And so that 200 person, and it's growing all the time, stakeholder group continues to map out this hydrogen highway future. And that's a great example, I think, of how we can solve many of our technological challenges in the future. And finally, Governor, I just want to kind of say that, you know, you owe it to the hydrogen industry because, to be honest, before you became governor, you set back the cause by quite a few years. In the movie Terminator 3, you uh, reached into your chest and you pulled out a hydrogen fuel cell and you threw it out the window and we saw a nuclear explosion. And I can't tell you how many people, when I talk about hydrogen, they say, well, didn't you see Terminator 3? Aren't you afraid of driving that car? So, uh, so I think you're really just paying back your debt to this important industry and this important technology by being such a leader. Thank you.